So today I'm working on Kubota KX 121-3. Um, I'm replacing the main thumb pin because it's broken, which is a common problem on these. Um, so basically the problem is with them is this is the factory Kubota pin right here. It has a grease fitting coming down the center right here. Um, that goes through this whole pin and then comes up the center and they break right where they drilled down and up right where that it meets. Um, that's the second one that's broken this one, so now I'm replacing it with a non-greasable pin, which is right here. It doesn't have any grease ends, just just the hole for the roll pin. Um, and basically the reason for that is this pin is 250 from your Kubota dealer without tax or anything like that. This pin is 170 on eBay. Um, so you save yourself a lot of money because you're not breaking them anymore and you're not buying one more expensive right off the bat. Um, so basically to get ready for it, you gotta do a couple extra things. So the bushings on this excavator were loose in the boom here. They had to play up and down. So I took a, just a normal MIG welder right there. I just built up right here. I did some nice little welds in there, turned it up pretty hot. And then I took a little die grinder with a carbide bit on the front a flat one and I just smoothed it out, tested the bushings, smoothed it out, tested the bushings, um, got them to fit the way I like. And then for the non-greasable, you have your bottom right here. Um, right under this weld is where I'm putting the grease fitting. It's a 45, six millimeter. Um, I drilled through the hole with an eighth inch drill bit first just to get a good hole through. And then I went back with a 1364s. Yep, 1364 drill bit. Right here it's broken, but. Um, and then that allowed this grease screen to fit perfect in there. Um, and then you just use a, I'll show you the tap. A, where is it at? Right here. Six millimeter tap, just your normal standard tap. Um, well, metric, but it's just normal, nothing fancy. Just the uh, handle. And basically, just throw it in there. Um, and then the next thing you gotta do is there is this spacer right here that separates these bushings. Goes right in the center, right in there, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna drill a hole in this bushing. I mean, not bushing, spacer. Um, bigger than 1364. Um, just allow a little bit extra room for if that shifts at all and gets grease in there. So I'll be back with that. Okay, so right now I'm just showing. I got this thing all back together. Got the bushings in there. You can see the um. So you can see I drilled a half inch hole in that spacer to give the grease extra room when it's coming into this grease vein, just to kind of spread in there. Um, but yeah, it's back together. No more play in there. Um, I JB welded the bushings in there just to give them a little extra cushion, but so far it looks pretty good. All right, and this is the finished product right here. There's the pin, C-clips. It's all greased up. There's the grease fitting right there. See what the time it is. There's no more play in this quick coupler, nothing. Um, I added two shims to that side, one to here, and that took up the slack. Yep, it's all good.